Hi guys, this is Akhra Kamid. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, uh, if you watched my previous videos, I showed you how to uh, put a logo on a building. I showed you how to trap text in DaVinci Resolve. So in this particular video, I'm actually going to show you how to swipe text. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let me show you exactly what I mean. So let's just say the text is here on my uh, side here. So if I go like this, there I just swipe it away with my hand that's what I'm actually going to show you how to do it in this uh, uh, tutorial so let's get stuck in guys hey guys so the way I do this is uh, I'm just gonna the intro what you just saw now that's the clip we're gonna work on here so this was the bit where I got my arm out uh, if I can just find it so, so there you go this was the bit at this point this is where I stuck my hand out there so just set it on the bit that you want it to go on and then we're just going to drop any text so let's just go with the basic title yeah let's just go with the basic title here and so here you can just type in what you want if you press the text uh, where you selected the text and let's just type in here uh, swipe text and then we just want to position the text so uh, we do that by here so we're just gonna bring it there here a bit so it's front of my uh, hand and then slightly down like that and then this is the most important part what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this clip so uh, the easy way to do it is just keep the alt pressed and then we uh, drag this up so here you've got a duplicate now so that's the video we've got the text here and the same video which is duplicated so make sure the top one is selected and then we're going to go into the color palette and then right click then we're going to go on add alpha output then we're going to join the blue dots here now once you've uh, once you've uh, joined the uh, blue dots and then uh, the rest is uh, gonna be a bit of a uh, playing around so just uh, click on this clip here and then click on uh, this one the window and then we want to go down to this bit here so we just click uh, this bit and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw down the uh, so it's the pen tool that you want so now we're just gonna draw around the hand like that now when we come to the back of the hand uh, you can space it out a bit like that and there is a reason for that because uh, if so let's just say if I went around the hand this way what would happen is the text would come through the other side and we don't want that we just want the text to completely disappear so this is the reason why the back bit the back of the hand has to be spread out a bit there now as soon as i connected those dots did you see how the text reappeared again uh, because it shows now that you're actually uh, you finished uh, the, with the pen tool now so what we're basically gonna do here is then we're gonna go on to uh, this bit the tracker and then we're gonna go on to frame so click on frame and then basically what we want to do here is uh, see this bit basically don't click on the track forward click on the track one frame forward because what, what that'll do is uh, it'll take it step by step whereas this one it'll take you uh, it'll start playing real fast and we don't want that so just press keep pressing that and pay attention to my hand as I do that so once I start to bring my hand forward just bring this slightly like that and then go like this again so it's starting my hand starting to come forward now then we move this forward as we go along so just do it step by step now I haven't started pushing my uh, hand forward yet so to the point I do and then now I did that 
I uh, pressed it then I moved this forward because it was coming close to the text so you know that's just one thing you want to be kept there now you can see here I'm actually moving my fo hand forward and now this is when I have to drag this step by step now notice as I uh, drag this step by step can you see these dots are appearing that's for the keyframe so if I do this again bring this forward there do you see how a dot appeared that's showing you the keyframe so I'm going to bring this forward see how my hand is uh, starting to come forward now to the text so and see what's going on down here as well so as I bring this forward see it's created a keyframe so there you go and then I'll bring this forward And there you go it disappears now uh, this is what I meant if I put if yeah if I drew the line here at the back of my hand the text would have appeared on the other side and that's what we don't want that's what we were avoiding so let's go back and test that out now so you can see here uh, sorry it's my uh, my playhead's a bit jumpy guys I do apologize so yeah so it's actually it's actually uh, worked now so yeah that's uh, that was basically it guys do you see do you see how easy that was and obviously if you want the uh, text to reappear again you do the opposite way but just drag it backwards but yeah that, that's basically all I, all I wanted to show you guys you know I have done this with other clips as well so start having a play around with that guys and see what you come up with yeah so it was a short video because it was a very easy tutorial but yeah guys and uh, just another thing before I go if you're not happy with the text you can always uh, uh, press the text area like that go into title and then you know you can always uh, choose a different text but remember it doesn't affect the tracking because you know that's going to remain the same so uh, that you're good to go but yeah guys there you go so if you did like this video guys please give me a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching